morning everybody. Jason, Pete, Hollis Farms. Brought the boat down here earlier. Hang on just a minute. Pete. All right, y'all. Sorry about that. Me and Pete was having a little discussion about peeing and pooping in the shop. Never broke him in here. Uh, they don't do it in the house, but anyway, he thinks the shop he can, but we're working on that. But anyway, brought the boat, the little John boat down here to the shop this morning. I planned on getting on the tractor. But I knew it was going to rain, so we got that out of the way. Got it down here before it started raining. Got a boat, John boat project to do today. All right, y'all, so here's what we got for the John boat. This came from Vance Manufacturing. This is what they call their micro mini jack plate. This thing, I was going to get a hydraulic one, but I didn't want to add any more weight. To the John boat than I had to but this thing here is pretty cool and and this is kind of new to me but for those that y'all that don't know the jack plate enables us is going to enable us to raise this engine up and down and keep it trimmed down and we should be able to run shallow water better I, I think I'm just I'm way too low with the motor I just, I think it's going to perform better as we can get some adjustment to it. Uh, this one's pretty simple to, to adjust. It's got four uh, half inch bolts here. One there, one there. Well, let's see. We ain't even got to do it yet. It's going to slide. Uh, we'll have to undo two on each side. And then it's got this deal on this piece of all three. Let me see if I can get there to it that deal down in here it's got a nut on the bottom and you just run it and it will slide the motor's going to attach right here and then it'll slide up and down i've seen some videos and i really th think this is going to help the performance in some shallow water i got to dig around and make sure i got the tools that i need to mount it i got to see how many bolts it's got in it I th i'm supposing I don't know if it's going to have two on the top. I don't know. i got to dig my bolts out. i got a bolt kit and uh, got some silicone. I'm going to go ahead and send me some silicone. I wanted to make sure I got everything right. That should be my bolts there. And these are some kind of brace plates. Uh, I don't know. i got to dig into it and uh, make sure i got enough tools and everything to get this done here if I don't need to go get something. So... Let me get everything sorted out, and then we'll get started. All right, y'all got her clamped on where she's going to go. Of course, the engine will ride right here. It's at its lowest point right now. We're not going to hurt a thing. I hope I ain't messing up. I don't think I am. I've done some measuring. Pretty sure I'm right. Oh, It's about two inches higher at, at its lowest point. I don't think, if anything, we will need to go up some more. We ain't going to need to go down no more. Hope I don't mess this up anyway. Alright, got my holes for we'll Drill the holes and then we'll see if we can get them bolted up.
the holes drill. Let's see if she's gonna go on there now. All right, got all the bolts coming through. All I gotta do now is take everything off. I gotta get the silicone out. And I got them to go ahead and send me that. Well, make sure we had the right stuff. Bolt her down and uh, put the engine back on it. See how this thing works. All right, so I got my marine silicone ready.
silicone coming out of that hole. Just a second, I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are. I had to change my, I had to change my bottom bolts. I was a, I was a little too uh, long. I knew that and I forgot. plate that I put on down in there, support plate they call it. Alright, I'm going to run through real quick and do a little boat check on all the other little boats. 
bolts that hold them. Two separate plates here, just to make sure. about ready to uh, put the engine back on here. Alright, so here's how this thing works. Like I said, it's got four half inch bolts on both sides and these grooves slide there. Groove on the inside, outside on the inside. All you do is take a socket. I'm not sure how this is going to fit on there with the engine. It should be fine. I think we can do some adjusting in the water if we had to. But you just screw, screw down on that. See it coming up? That's pretty doggone simple. They got this thing figured out. Probably that right there will probably be a little. It'll go down a little easier when we get the weight of the engine on there. Alright, we need to hang the engine on here. Alright, got her mounted on. I am, I'm bottomed out. They make some spacers for this and I didn't know if I'd need them or not and didn't get them. Camera ain't wanting to focus. Oh. I'm gonna put me a block of wood. I got one side. I'm gonna put me. I may put me a block of wood on the inside here, cause I am bottomed out and I ain't quite tight. I mean, it don't lack much at all. But I get that done, and then we'll be done with it. I'll find me something spacious. All right, got her mounted on there. I put me a block of wood in here. I ain't just crazy about what I did right there, but I just wanted to get done. I'm gonna check on their shim kit that they sell. And that may be fine. I've got it lifted all the way up, so I should, I hadn't measured, let's see. I think it's supposed to be about five to five and a half inches. Let's see. That's about even right there. It's gonna be all over five inches of lift. And I still, I mean, I'm still in the water. Pretty good. This thing ought to run in some shallow water. 
shallower water now. That's the whole key to it. And I think it'll perform better as I get it adjusted. And y'all know I'm not a boat person, but I'm studying on it and trying to learn. But I think this right here is gonna help. I ain't gonna go today because the wind is blowing like crazy and it's raining, but I wanted to get this on here. I'm ready to test this out. I believe, I believe this is gonna help. A lot of y'all may know way more about this than I do. But as long as we keep that motor in the water, I've watched some some uh, bass boat videos and stuff where they trim them or, or jack them way up and leave it trimmed down and they can take off, get on plane quick out of some shallow waters. That's probably where this boat's gonna end up most of the time. I like it, it was real, real easy to install. Like I said, the, the only thing that might have been nice is if they sent a little template to mark these holes, which it wasn't bad. Could have took it apart, I guess, but you know, we ain't gonna do that. I just took a little short screwdriver and marked my holes, drilled them. I had to waller on a couple just to fuzz. But I think we are getting close on this thing. I think I can carry my tools with me. Oh, if I wanted to play with it I, while I was on the water, all you need to a uh, three-quarter socket and a wrench to adjust to loosen these four and then a 9 16 socket to run that one up and down and you can do it while you're in the water I'm ready to try this I think this is gonna help help a lot I just got to kind of get it in the water I held me a tube before up here let me see if I can hold it while y'all while I'm holding this camera I held me this tube before up under the boat let's see if I can do this one handed alright I am uh, I'm level I mean we still got plenty plenty in the water I think you could go up even more but I believe that's going to be fine I'm, I'm hoping I can get to where I, it's got three trim settings and I've been most of the time running in this lowest one I'm hoping I can get it to where it'll operate right on two or three but we'll just have to get it back in the water to see. But real happy with uh, the service and the products from Vance. Vance Manufacturing. Like I said, the only thing I ain't liking is the way I spaced it with that block of wood. But other than that, I'm happy. I think we're going to be all right. Don't look too bad on it. I wanted a black one. I ordered a black one and they was kind of out of stock, said it'd be a little while because of the virus and all. <clears throat> but the lady said this one would, she kind of explained to me how it looked. That's going to be fine. If we have to, we'll jerk the motor off and paint it, but I think it'll be good. Alright y'all, back over to speed shop. Get a little something done today. Hey y'all, hadn't been just a ton going on today. It has been raining most of the day and it is still raining. Anyway, we got the jack plate put on the little John boat. Now we're just waiting on a little weather. Smooth day, no wind day, calm day where we can go out there and test it. See how good she's going to handle. Anyway, I'm about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.